and medicine. My friends, what is up? Welcome to another Mind Medicine. I want to talk to you about the come up. Yes, the process of starting at the bottom and making it to the top. I was at the gym the other day lifting weights and I started thinking, there's all these people in here. It's the beginning of the year. Regardless of when you're listening to this, there's all these people at the gym and they don't know what they're doing. You can tell. And uh, congratulations to them and props to them for getting out and starting something. But people do this every year. It's like, I'm going to change. I'm going to change all of a sudden. I have been the same for 40 years, but all of a sudden I'm going to change. And it lasts for 14 days or 18 days or whatever. And then they're, they're out. And so they repeat the same cycle of not knowing what they're doing every January for 15 years. For some reason, it caused me to start thinking about the journey from the bottom to the top. Here's the thing. Everybody wishes, everybody has this hope that uh, things would be better than they are. Have you ever asked yourself, man, why can't I just get to the top of the mountain? Why can't I just be at the top? Have you ever asked yourself, why is, why am I still here in the middle? Why am I still here at the bottom? But the point of being at the top is the journey and the sacrifice you have to make through the middle and through the bottom to get there. There's no such thing as a come up if you're already on the top. There's no such thing as a come up if you are born at the top of the mountain. See, for a person to truly journey through the trenches and to earn what you have in your life, you have to go through a season or multiple seasons where you don't have what you want. It's necessary I believe that if we would stop asking ourselves, why, why do I not have this? Why do I not have that? If we would stop asking ourselves those questions, that's, that's dangerous self-talk. And we started looking at these struggles and these difficulties as memories, precious moments. You know, I know that no one can take away from me the years 2012 and 2013, when I had no idea what I was doing, 2011, where I would wake up every morning confused about where I was headed in my life, but I would still wake up and I would do the right thing. I had no idea when I was going to make it or how it was going to look, but I did the work anyways. And today, having been on the other side of many, many ventures, I can say that that no one can take those memories away from me. It's the most valuable part of my journey. The the most valuable part to me is not being at the top of the mountain. It's that I, I journeyed well through the middle of the mountain and I struggled well during the times of of pressure and the times of pain. If you are in a place that you do not enjoy, my friend, welcome to the best position for you to be in because everyone at the top had to start at the bottom. There's nobody at the top who started at the top because when you get to the top, you're going to have to know how to stay there. And that only comes, you only learn those lessons from the battles that you fight on the way. No such thing as a come up if you're already at the top. Enjoy the moments enjoy the process to an extent enjoy the pressure this is what life is and it'd be no fun if everything was easy so i got for you push through it all be worth it there you have it friends time to get to work and bring your best to every situation you find yourself in throughout the day never settle push through always. If you found value in today, please pay it forward by introducing someone that you know to the show and leave us a helpful review online. We'll see you tomorrow. Daily Mind Medicine.